To show you a ring curls in action, we've taken one to the bush outside the sanctuary. Yeah, this is a fiery snake. You can see he's rearing up towards me. Oh! And just flicked venom all down my arm. Certainly not as accurate as you see in some spitting cobras. But if it goes in the eyes, it's going to be just as effective. Now, look at that. Oh! Perfect. He actually flicked venom straight at me. And I, actually, a little bit of it went into my mouth. You, go, you can taste it. It has a sort of rusty kind of taste to it. The venom can't harm me unless it gets into my bloodstream. That actually did go right into my mouth. What I'm trying to do is restrain the head. So to actually give an impression of what would happen if an animal was to, was to attack it, what it would do. So I'm just gently hoping that I'll be able to hold the head down. Wow. Okay. And he just spat straight at the camera. I think there are a few flecks of venom just on the outside of the lens, lens hood here. This isn't hurting the snake, but it does allow me to show you how incredible it is. Now, with the head restrained and the snake really feeling like it has nowhere to go, the next thing that the ring cast does is play dead. Look at that. From the ferocious, agitated, moving snake we had before, it's gone totally limp. So this is the Rinkar's last line of defense. It's been fast, it's been quick, it's been aggressive, it's spat venom at me, and now it's just playing dead. No motion whatsoever. And any animal that won't take dead prey, it's not gonna be interested, it's gonna leave it alone. Anything that will and gets it too close, is gonna get a nasty surprise and probably a bite. Now that's what I call a clever snake.